Following the November 26th reported failed coup attempt in Sierra Leone, the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, decided to send a regional security mission to help restore calm in the country. The decision was made at the 64th Ordinary Session of the Authority of Heads of States and Government of the Regional Bloc, which took place in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. The heads of state expressed their strong disapproval of the coup attempt and urged President Julius Matabayo's government to follow the rule of law in seeking justice. They also asked the ECOWAS Commission to keep supporting Sierra Leone and to arrange the deployment of an ECOWAS security mission in the country, as stated in their communique at the end of the meeting. ECOWAS has been involved in Sierra Leone since the incident last month. A delegation led by the ECOWAS Commission President Dr. Omar Alouture visited the country and talked about the possibility of sending a standby force with the Bio administration. The summit was held amid increasing tension and worries over the rise of military coups in the region. Around the same time as the Sierra Leone situation, the government of Guinea-Bissau claimed that there was a coup attempt. Many political analysts have attributed the frequent military coups in the region to poor governance as seen in disputed elections. The leaders seemed to agree with this view, as they called on the ECOWAS Commission to conduct a thorough consultation with stakeholders on the link between electoral processes, democracy and development, and to make practical suggestions on how to improve the transparency and credibility of elections and to foster inclusive development and accountable governance. The summit, which was held at the Presidential Palace in Abuja, was attended by about 10 heads of state and government. They discussed the situations in Niger, Senegal, Gambia, Sierra Leone, and other countries, as well as the fight against terrorism in the sub-region. President Julius Matabio was among the heads of state. He was chosen by his colleagues to be part of a committee that would engage with Niger's National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland, CNSB, Junta and other parties to agree on a short transition plan for the country. The presidents of Togo and Benin were also part of the committee. Liberian President George Weah, who is from the Mano River Union, also attended the summit. It was his last summit of the West African bloc as head of state, as he lost in the elections last month. He is expected to leave office next month. Weah received compliments from his colleagues for his statesmanship in accepting defeat to former Vice President Joseph Bokai. Guinea has been suspended from ECOWAS since the 2021 coup that ousted former President Alpha Conde. At the opening ceremony of the event, ECOWAS chairman and host Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinyabu encouraged fellow leaders to put good governance for the people first, noting that it is a key factor for socio-economic transformation and development. He said that by providing good governance that addresses the issues of poverty, inequality and other people's concerns, they would have succeeded in tackling some of the root causes of military interference and civilian affairs in the region. President Tinubu stressed that peace, security, and stability are essential for ECOWAS to achieve its goal of a fully integrated region. He explained that since 2001, the region had acknowledged democracy as the sole governance system that could promote the growth, diversity, and welfare of its people. This led the West African region to be the first in the continent to fully adopt democratization, by creating extensive frameworks with legal protocols that stress the importance of democracy, good governance, human rights, and the rule of law. The ECOWAS chairman added that to achieve this goal, the leaders agreed to the protocols and the attached conditions, which required specific sanctions to be imposed on any member state that chooses an unconstitutional change of government. However, the Nigerian leader emphasized that ECOWAS remained dedicated to reconnecting with the countries under military rule based on practical and brief transition plans that can ensure democracy and good governance. We have to be ready to offer them technical and material assistance to guarantee the accomplishment of these strategic objectives, he said. Regarding Sierra Leone and Guinea-Bissau, Tinubu appealed to his fellow heads of state to focus on safeguarding democracy repeating the bloc's zero tolerance to unconstitutional changes of government. I encourage all of us to be firm and highly determined in the face of any difficulty in Sierra Leone and Guinea-Bissau. The message must be clear that we back a democratically elected government, not an unconstitutional action," he said. For more news like this across the globe, please subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. Thank you.